and goal. Red wide open, touchdown LA. Red of Indies picked, intercepted by the Cowboys. I do say, old boy, you are looking very refreshed and comfortable today. What's the occasion? I'll tell you what, Mr. Voice. <laughs> Life is sweeter on the other side when you actually get that victory, man. Basically, my team's on vacation. <laughs> I'm on vacation with my squad. I figured I had to get a little festive today. Um, <laughs> we got two reasons to celebrate. Not only is it a victory week, is also a bye week following too as well. Man, nothing is sweeter than a victory week. You know, the, the sky shines a little bit brighter. You go outside, you get some fresh air in your lungs. Don't mind my car, I know it needs a little chapstick. But um, everything's right with the world, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you can you can actually show your face in public. You can wear your gear in public and can't nobody say anything. It's beautiful on a victory. This is this is what I call the library period. This is where everyone gets quiet. Your DMs are silent. You can think in peace. You can walk down the streets. You don't have to worry about getting harassed at all. Man, victory week is so special. I, mm, I can taste it. So sweet, the taste of victory. It's just, victory is just like the great Novocaine. It just makes everything go away. It just makes that whole last week disappear for the moment. Keyword for the moment. You know, when you're out there on a victory week, everybody's sick. I'm talking making them sick to their stomach. I'm talking like bucket by the bedside sick because they can't say anything. They got all their memes out the way last week. They're on empty, they, they got nothing this week. So that's why I'm celebrating. Second part of the celebration is, it's a bye week. And what does a bye week mean? Stress-free football this Sunday. I get to sit back and laugh at all the other fans of all the other teams while they sweat it out, struggle, and stress out while I got my feet up with a my tie. And I gotta enjoy my victory week because right now, as you can hear, it's nothing but total silence whenever we win. But oh man, when we lose, oh, there's a blimp in the sky. I'm talking about parades down the street, commission parades down the street. I'm talking about everybody on the planet talking trash to you. I'm talking about people coming back out of the grave and returning from the afterlife just so they can get their digs in and talk trash about your team losing. And that's just how it goes. And that's part of being a Cowboys fan. And I wear that badge of honor proudly. So just like y'all ride me into the sunset when we lose, I'm gonna squeeze every ounce of this victory week, every single drip of it I can get just because I can. Oh, the hecklers. Lock your doors and hide the kids. It's no holds barred with your haters, huh? This reminds me of a point Micah Parsons just recently made on his podcast about the unbalanced criticism of his squad. Here is a snippet. But I just don't condone the bashing of Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys and have the same energy for the Eagles. The Eagles were healthy. They had Jalen Hurts. They had the receiving core. They had their explosive weapon. They didn't have Lane Johnson. I will admit that they didn't have Lane Johnson. But does that make that big of a difference? Because I see my quarterback, you know, maybe not have the red zone success, but move the ball way better than the Eagles did uh, Sunday night. 
So we want the same energy for everybody. Because there's a whole bunch of bashing when it's Dak Prescott, but not the same when it's the Eagles. I got time today. Ah, uh, yes. As the young folks like to say, keep that same energy when your team loses and when your quarterback throws three interceptions in a game as well. You know what, Mr. Voice? He's definitely got a point. There's a ton of teams out there that choke left and right, up and down, fall short. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please direct your attention to the graphic that's here in front of you right now. This is Exhibit A of all the teams that have had Super Bowl droughts that have been significantly longer than the Super Bowl drought that the Dallas Cowboys have had. And um, none of these teams get their feet held to the fire. Uh, I see there's one particular one in D.C. that hasn't put their fingerprints on a trophy in 31 years. And even though they're doing good this year, there's one out in San Francisco that hasn't sniffed one in 28 years. There's one on the West Coast that hasn't won one in 39 years of Las Vegas now, the Las Vegas Raiders. But um, none of those guys get crucified on media all the time and brought up how long it's been since they had the Super Bowl. But there's clearly other droughts that are way more significant than ours. It's just ours makes front page every single time. Even though you're being festive, I can tell that there is still something bothering you a little bit. My friend, what's on your mind? You know what, Mr. Voice? I'm still not thrilled with Coach McCarthy and his Denny's menu. Excuse me, I mean Waffle House menu. Ah, my bad. I mean his playbook. At some point, it looked like him and Brandon Staley on the other side were battling to see who can screw this up the most. I'm also not thrilled with seeing 50 million penalties on the field either. It's almost like we're working for Uber and we're just driving them curb service right down to the red zone ourselves. Free, no fare, front door service. But you know, even with all the mishaps, they still found a way to win. So I'm going to stay on the positive side. Hopefully we can still keep up with the fighting spirit. Speaking of the fighting spirit, it looks as if there was no shortage of passion on and off the field, judging by these videos. Oh yeah, Mr. Voice. Folks was definitely laying hands on each other during this game. And I don't mean in the biblical sense at all. Look, 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 look. Now, why do these cats look like they're fighting inside of a bounce house at a toddler's birthday party? Well, what's up with this right here? Nobody has no good form of technique at all. Everyone's sliding around. It almost looks like a commercial for Crocodile Mountain. You slide, hit the punk, take a dive. It's crooked oil. I mean, fights was going on everywhere. They was fighting on the field. They was fighting in the concession stands. They was fighting in the stands. It just seems like tempers run high. Whenever Cowboys start winning, everything goes south. Motions get all flared up. Now that we got the WWE portion of the show out of the way, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and try to wrap things up on a much lighter note, my man. Um, Mr. Voice, like I told you earlier, I'm going to enjoy every drip drop of this bye week. I'm going to keep our heads high and look forward to um, locking horns with those Rams next Sunday. Catch you on the flip side. That's the spirit, Cowboys fan. Enjoy the bye week and get ready for more gridiron shenanigans. Go Cowboys!